welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Hannah Fernandez and you're watching SCORE TV. SCORE is a nonprofit organization that provides free business mentoring and other services to startups and established businesses across the United States. So whether you're a new entrepreneur or you've been in business for a long time, our SCORE mentors can offer you free business advice, mentoring, and other resources. To connect with us, go to our website at chicago.score.org. You can also email us at info at scorechicago.org or call us at 312-353-7724. This is a live show, so please feel free to call in and ask us your questions. The phone number to call in is 312-738-1060. Now, if you want to learn how to network in the most effective way, stay tuned and my guest today could help. Alfonso Barrera is the founder of Hispanic Pro, the Hispanic professional network. It is the largest network of his Latino professionals in the state of Illinois and the fastest growing in Wisconsin. Hispanic Pro produces networking events for professionals, business owners, and aspiring entrepreneurs to connect them with growth opportunities business leads, and most importantly, each other. Alfonso, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Hannah, for having me here for the invitation. I'm glad to be here. Of course. And, you know, I've been to a lot of your events, and you always have an awesome turnout, great people. Thank you. So very impressive. So I'm very thrilled to have you here today. Thank you. So um, most people have an idea of what networking is, but just to be clear, can you define it for us? Sure. Uh, networking simply is relationship building for business. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, it's your building a relationship that is not meant to last only a day or a couple weeks or a month. But sure. for the most part, it's going to last for the lifetime of your business, hopefully. So, mm -hmm. and, some, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of right. like dating in some in that in mm -hmm. essence but for business gotcha so most business owners as you know are typically busy people so why should they even bother make the time to do some networking well they should bother be bother with networking because mm -hmm. it's not a bother networking okay. is definitely uh something that's going to aid them in in building their business mm -hmm. and creating um creating but also finding new resources um so in essence, it does save them time um, because they're going to find people that will help them with things that probably they can't do themselves. True. Um, so it's, it, I, I believe it's the best way to grow your business um, organically without having to maybe uh, pay out so much money at the mm -hmm. beginning when you're starting your business. That's always one of the biggest um, concerns is, you know, buying professional services um, when maybe when you network, you can do some bartering or trading. So that's one of the that's one of the benefits of, of networking. Right, and you know, I've said this again and again so many times that you do business with people that you like and you also trust. Absolutely. So if you see somebody over and over again, you're more than likely to go ahead and do business with them if they do good work sure. and if you trust them and you like them. Absolutely, and networking is definitely, the key to networking is building trust from day one. Mm -hmm. um, from from the, the, the time that you meet someone, you know, and he, mm -hmm. you know if, if that conversation leads to um, leads to a follow up to mm -hmm. a follow up meeting, maybe coffee um, sure. or maybe a, a lunch meeting. Mm -hmm. um, showing up, gotcha. and showing up is so important. So, and that way, those li those little things, those little steps, are what lead to uh, to building trust with someone. Right, and they say a huge part of success is definitely showing up. Absolutely, gotcha. absolutely. So, when should somebody network? Is there a perfect time, in your opinion? Um, I believe that there really isn't a perfect time to network. Okay. You should just do it. Mm -hmm. Because if you wait for the perfect time, it might be too late for, uh, it might be too late for, for you in the sense of the resources that you have at your disposal at that time. So right. no, there's never, you, you'll never be fully prepared to network, mm -hmm. but you can learn as you go. Exactly. So definitely that's, that's um, one of the great things about networking is if, if you had a night, um, that um, a networking event mm -hmm. or a seminar didn't, didn't go your way in regards right. to making connections, there's always a next one. Absolutely, exactly. And I know that we had a conversation before and, you know, we were talking about it's always best to network if you don't need it. It's just like, you know, calling a friend or a family member. You don't want somebody calling you whenever they need something only, but you never hear from them, right? Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, 
the best time to network is definitely when you don't need it. Um, mm -hmm. And that's because you have something to offer. Exactly. You have something to offer and, and, and that's one of the uh, essential aspects of networking is being able to show mm -hmm. up to the room and offer someone something without expecting anything in return. Exactly. So you want to be in that position, be, be in a position to be able to help people. Mm -hmm. when you're when you offer your help um, that's when that's when you start building uh, the trust and you start building um, that, that repertoire with, with with a business owner that you know this is someone that, that, that I can confide in someone that right. that's going to come through um, and they, they provided something for me so yes. in which case you have someone that you left a lasting impression with and then um, that person in essence becomes uh, an advocate for you when you're not in the room Right. That's a great point because I'm a big believer in giving value first before I even ask anything. Because at that point, just like you said, a relationship, right, whether it be friend um, or family member, you feel like you, you deserve it because they know that you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for them. You're going to offer them the same favor. Sure. Sure. Uh, and, and at least that's what you expect, right? Sure. But if it, and if it doesn't reciprocate, you know, never dwell on it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, don't bad mouth anyone. Right. It's just part of business and you move on. Exactly, exactly. And that's why you got to do things just out of the goodness of your own heart because you're a good person and not because you want something in return because people could smell that from a mile away. Sure, and it's also a numbers game. So you mm -hmm. want to be out there as many times as possible uh -huh. so that, that way you make quality connections. But that happens only when you make a lot of connections. And then from there, you get to pick and choose as opposed to having a you know a small uh, bucket of 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 of, uh, of contacts that you've made sure. so definitely the more the more that you're out there the more resourceful you are mm -hmm. for other people the more it comes back to you in in in, uh, in rewarding relationships and and hopefully business absolutely so for the viewers out there it is a numbers game just like in sales so you got to put yourself out there and the more people you meet just like what alfonso said the more likely you're going to go ahead and uh, meet that right match for your business need and so for those who don't know where to start can you give them some tips on where to start networking absolutely um really you can network anywhere okay. anywhere and everywhere so mm -hmm. but definitely I, I i recommend uh you know business breakfasts which okay. there's quite a bit of um, which consists of maybe a, it could be a workshop, mm -hmm. um, which uh, consists of a keynote speaker um, of the particular industry that your business is focused on. Okay. Um, from there, there can also be a lunch. Mm -hmm. um, from there, there can also be a dinner or, right. or a networking. Um, I uh, a networking event that involves uh, perhaps you know a, a light happy hour, mm -hmm. um, but also networking for for your industry. So that those those events tend to be more broad, mm -hmm. but at the same time they can, they can be very resourceful in in regards to what you're looking for. Um, but on average, you should be networking ten to fifteen uh, uh, hours a week, and which sounds a lot like a mm -hmm. lot, but if you're spreading it out during the day. Um, in a week, it really isn't. If you're going to right. a breakfast, and then another day you're going to a lunch, um, mm -hmm. and then after that you're going to a workshop maybe in the evening, you'll, you'll make up those 15 hours pretty quickly. So the fact that she said allocate 10 to 15 hours a week makes it a priority for you. Absolutely. It should be a priority. Mm -hmm. um, it should be one of the biggest priorities is to make, uh, to make good impressions of the, on other people um, so they can refer your business, and so also so they can be, again, like I, like I said, um, they can be a walk-in endorsement of your business and you as a person to mm -hmm. other people. Exactly, exactly. And like what I told them, um, you know, whenever I meet small business owners, it's always good if somebody actually speaks highly of you and recommends you as opposed to you telling everybody how amazing you are. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I always follow the guideline that it's, it's not who you know, but who knows you. Mm -hmm. uh, who knows you is a person that's always endorsing you and who's always advoca advocating for you and your business when you're not in the room. And that that saves you so much money. That saves you advertising money, marketing money. Plus, you have an informal endorsement of someone um, by them of you and your business. And that speaks volumes about you, and that is a lot more powerful. That's a more powerful testimonial. Absolutely, and, and, it, and it does come down comes down to being a testimonial of you and your business. Mm -hmm. So definitely the, the, the way to achieve that 
is, is definitely through business networking. Sure, and with testimonials, I know you're fantastic at this. I mean, you record everything, correct? I mean, what's, can you suggest anything else? Because you, you videotape stuff and- Yeah, I mean, we, we videotape uh, testimonials from mm -hmm. our events, um, from our event attendees, yeah. but also from the, from the corporate uh, partners uh, side of it, so that people know what, you know, what, uh, what to expect, but yes. also some takeaways from the events. Um, right. And, and and that's always uh, that's always good to know tidbits of, of information of insights that someone gained from attending the event. So um, always attend an event with an open mind, mm -hmm. um, and also uh, attend an event that um, attend the event, you know, expecting to to make at least uh, you know a handful of connections, if not more. Gotcha. I, I always I always um, you know tell people don't don't spend too much time talking to one person mm -hmm. three to five minutes maximum but really okay. get around the room and, and get to know each everyone's story everyone has a different story mm -hmm. everyone has a different uh, reason for being there um, but they all have a common goal which is they want to be successful in their business and you made a you know you made a an amazing point is everybody has a story so this is how you really connect with people because if I ask about you you know that I care and it's not all about me you know, so you always want to go ahead and just talk to people, see what they care, see what keeps them up at night, and what inspires them as well. Absolutely. When you're networking, you should be uh, the other person should be eighty percent talking, and you should be uh, and you should be listening. You should be twenty. You should be doing twenty percent of the talking, and doing eighty percent listening. So definitely listening to the other person because that way you can evaluate how you can help that individual out. Um, and if you can't help them out directly who in your pool of contacts that you have can assist this person. That's a good idea. And I always offer that to my clients as well. I always tell them, if I can't help you, I have a huge network that could go ahead and possibly be a good client for you. And because um, it's all about really helping one another. Absolutely. But then again, that comes with trust. You know, yes. you, you have to build that trust. You know, mm -hmm. it, do I trust this person with, with that relationship that, that it took me time to build? Oh, you're right. So, so definitely it, it's, it's, it, it's a matter of, it's something that takes time. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I always say that networking should be should span the lifetime of your business, um, and many times beyond that, because you build relationships with uh, friendships with with, with these folks uh, that you do business with, and that you refer each other. So right. definitely, it's 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 a it's it's an investment of time. Uh, it's always an investment of time, but the the rewards that you'll be from it are incredible. Absolutely. And if I like and trust someone, I am more than happy to go ahead and connect them with my network. But, you know, if I have reservations with someone, because that is my reputation on the line. Mm -hmm. So I completely agree with you in that one. So, you know, before attending a networking event, what do you think small business owners and professionals should do to prepare? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, uh, first and foremost, uh, have updated profiles, you know, mm -hmm. uh, on your on social media, uh, on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, have it updated. If, if if you're a recent entrepreneur and you mm -hmm. were working for for a company before, have it updated with your business information. This is what I'm doing now. Um, you don't want it. You don't want the information to reflect that you're still working for a former uh, for someone else because it, it shows that you know what you don't have all your bases covered. Right. So so all your social media should reflect that you're all about your business. That mm -hmm. you're in in this 100% and that should definitely be, um, that should be key. Also, uh, business cards. Mm -hmm. um, many small business owners do not have business cards and it's one of the, it's one of, it's one of the things mm -hmm. that um, really it's, it's probably one of the, a minor cost in, in the, in the uh, long scheme of, 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 of starting your business, but really it, being prepared, being able to offer someone that, that they can have and take, take with them and then look you up. Um, if you left a lasting impression on them. Sure, and definitely. likewise, if someone left a lasting impression on you, you have their business card, so you have something to exchange. Plus, it's a good way to start a conversation with someone when you're trading, when you're trading business cards. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, also, um, have a purpose. Know exactly what you're going in, into the room for. Um, have, you know, know exactly um, what, what you're looking for, mm -hmm. uh, what resources that you need immediately, maybe mm -hmm. something that you need, um, uh, for the future, but most importantly, what do you have to offer um, that other person that you're going to meet? That is so right. essential, is definitely having uh, having something to offer someone. Right, exactly. And one of the things that I do is before I go to a networking event is if I know the people attending 
and if I'm interested in partnering with them, I'll go ahead and do some research Absolutely. on their business. And also then personally, I'll look them up on LinkedIn and any of their social media profiles. And that's why you brought up a good point of make sure everything is updated because mm -hmm. it shows also that you're a credible person. Absolutely. That you exist. And with having a business card and you're prepared, it looks very professional. Yeah, and even, uh, even with your website, um, mm -hmm. it should be updated. All the mm -hmm. information should be updated. And if you don't have a full website, you can have a landing page um, mm -hmm. that has the basic information of your business and what you do. Those are very simple things, but it covers it covers your basis, so that okay. that someone that that makes an evaluation of you from from that uh, from meeting you knows that okay, this person's one hundred percent in when it comes to their business. So they're all in. So let's say that they're all ready to go. They've got their business cards, their website, and everything else. So what should be the goal when you step into a networking event? Sure. The goal should be to you know walk away with new connections, mm -hmm. um, and new connections that can make an impact on your business. Mm -hmm. So um, and like I said, maybe you know collecting you know a dozen business cards is is is, is I think it's on the on the low end because I mm -hmm. usually collect between 50 to sometimes 70 business cards at an event. Sure. But definitely have a number in mind because again, mm -hmm. it's a numbers game. It's the more points of contact that you make, the, the more, um, the, the more uh, ability that you have to make an impression on someone. Plus, you know, the chances of you getting uh, a referral for your business um, it, it expand greatly by, by definitely talking to more people. So. Um, the point should always be um, to keep your converse, conversations short and sweet, okay. but get around the room as much as possible. Gotcha, gotcha. And so I know that whenever you, you know, I go to your events, you have a lot of panelists. Mm -hmm. And what I do is, you said you must also have a purpose or objectives. So I'll have a target. I'll go Absolutely. ahead and scan the room and figure out that person's sharp, that person's really good. I'll go ahead and connect with them. Mm -hmm. Or if um, somebody actually spoke about an industry or a topic that really inspired me, this is where you got to put your fears aside Absolutely. and just approach that person no matter what their status is right absolutely and and that's uh that's one of the biggest uh concerns about people who wish to network but are mm -hmm. afraid to network because they 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 don't know how to approach uh, a stranger you know especially someone. very successful ones uh, absolutely but mm -hmm. the thing is that they've been they've been at the point where you're at mm -hmm. so they're understanding plus also they're there for the same purpose that you are they're there um if not necessarily to make more connections mm -hmm. but to offer insight you know, to offer insight into, into in, you know, if they're going to be a discussion panel, um, in particular for us, for mm -hmm. what we do, we consider them an expert in their field. Right. And many people that, um, that are experts in the field, the people that we know, uh, and again, we do, our, we do our research on the people, we know that these are folks that love to talk about what they do because they're passionate about it. So, um, so there, there's something very, uh, something very, uh, um, warm and also mm -hmm. genuine about a person who who is an expert in the field but they want to offer your uh, offer their help to you and give you some insight so um, it, that's what they're there for so definitely take advantage of that because that's who awesome. knows who knows if you're if you have the opportunity to to connect with someone like that in any other in, in, a, in a, any other way yeah. um, you don't want to be sending a cold call email or a cold call uh, LinkedIn request those, you know, for the most part, go unanswered or they go answered with some skepticism about you. So definitely um, introduce yourself. Right. Um, introduce yourself and you'd be surprised how how, uh, how the fear goes away and the nervousness diminishes Absolutely. and then the, the truthfulness of, 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 uh, of um, the conversation comes out and, and, and you get to share, you get to share a common purpose. Which Absolutely. is you're both there for that reason. Whether the industry is healthcare, whether the industry mm -hmm. is banking and finance, whether it's um, technology. And you said it. The people who are successful. They've been there before. So what I've found out is a lot of them are very approachable, and they all want to empower other people and lift them up. So I mean, whenever they see somebody that's just starting out, a lot of them are very open about giving them, you know, some sort of tips. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and and especially with entrepreneurs, I mm -hmm. mean, they, they are they are more than willing to help, um, and and a lot of times that might be part of their job as well. So in which case, you're you're only asking them to do what they have to do for their job. Right. Um, but a lot of people do it with with they do it because they care. They care about seeing someone succeed. 
I think genuinely in, in the entrepreneurship community, in the networking community, um, and just bus business building in general, and especially in a city like we are mm -hmm. now in Chicago, where uh, startups are, are a big thing. It's it's sure. it's welcomed. Um, it, it, this this um, the, there's a, a, a feeling of, of camaraderie in the air of, with entrepreneurs, um, right. and also beyond that, also uh, people want to help each other out because it makes it makes the uh, the, the road a lot easier to travel. Absolutely, because it's not for the faint of heart. Not at all. We not know at that. All. Starting a business is not for the faint of heart. So not definitely. at all. But they're not alone. They're that's not right. alone. They're not alone. And that's why you have great resources like SCORE. Absolutely. That, um, with the business mentoring. But uh, but also definitely, you know, being out there, putting yourself out there, it teaches you a lot. It teaches you a lot about other people's businesses, mm -hmm. the resources that they have. But so surprisingly, you learn a lot about yourself. And you know what your weaknesses That's are, so what your strengths are, and what you can improve on when it comes to um, being able to present to someone, talk to someone, do an elevator pitch, elevator elevator pitch mm -hmm. to someone. All those things are very important, sure. and so you you learn a lot about yourself um, when you reflect, when you get home, and then you you empty mm -hmm. out your pockets <laughs> with all the business cards yes. that you have. But you really you, you get to reflect on that night and and what you learned uh, from other folks, and then. There might be someone in the room that like, oh wow, I, I like how that person carried themselves, and they were very professional, very put together. They were prepared. They had other for other information, um, other ducks in line, mm -hmm. and then so now you now you have a picture of someone that you want to emulate. Right. You want to be like that person. So, and that's something that you wouldn't have learned or you wouldn't have wouldn't have come across if you were just at home sitting on the couch. Oh, exactly. I mean, I put myself in a lot of uncomfortable situations all the time because I want to push myself and challenge myself. Absolutely. Yeah, you ha you have to be uncomfortable. You have to be uncomfortable. I would say that, that um, for myself, you know, I attend networking events um, where I might be the only minority in the room. Sure. Um, but I attend the events that I know um, prospects are going to be at, mm -hmm. um, in which case, um, you know, and, and, and I thrive off of that because you know what, I'm, I'm someone that's, that, that brings something to a conversation that everyone else, everyone else in the room doesn't have. So exactly. it, it's, it's definitely, um, um, but then once you start doing that and you do it more and repeatedly, mm -hmm. you know, the fear factor goes away. Exactly. The fear factor goes away. And then you make it a point to attend because if you're not in your office, you're not generating, you're not making calls, you're not, mm -hmm. um, you know, writing up orders, you should be networking. You should be networking. You need to, you know, fill up that empty space in the calendar. An entrepreneur should never mm -hmm. have white empty space on their calendar. It Agreed. should be filled. It should be filled with appointments, uh, with potential leads. But also, if they're not a lead, um, maybe someone that that you can offer advice to. So mm -hmm. you'd be surprised how much you know already because of the of the struggles you've gone through, of the inf information seeking that you've done. So you are an, you're an information powerhouse in your, in your, within yourself that you can offer to someone else. I love the fact that you brought um, the fact that, you know, when you go to the networking event, you know that you bring something to the table. Mm -hmm. So you definitely know that you're going to go ahead and um, earn the right to sit in that boardroom, in this room. And this is what a lot of small business owners need to realize is that you mentioned it. We all have a story. We all have strengths. And this is what you need to go show up keep your head high and yes. just start talking. Absolutely, but also follow through. And, follow yeah. through is very important. So when you go in uh, into a room and you make mm -hmm. connections, if you know, if there's someone that you really uh, connect, you know, someone you connected with and, and beyond that, you, you promised them mm -hmm. that you were gonna follow up with them, follow through with that promise. Um, that, that speaks volumes about you. It speaks volumes about your, your, your intentions when it comes to your business, that you're very, you're fully committed, and also um, who you are as a person. Right. That when you give your word to someone, it's still to some degree very old school, mm -hmm. uh, but new school in the sense that um, that those things are th th those common principles are very applicable today. And that's where a lot of people drop the ball. Follow up. Yes. That's where the money is. Absolutely, especially because now you have no. Uh, there, there's there's no reason to to or no excuse not to follow up with someone. You can call them. You can leave them a voicemail. You can email. You exactly. can send them a tweet. Uh, you can do so many things um, uh, via all, all these social media channels and all these uh, all these tools that we have 
available to us now that weren't available to us maybe 10, 15 years ago. So um, definitely, there's no reason why not um, not why not uh, pick up the phone and call that person who who can be a resource to you. Absolutely, you get leverage that. So, any final thoughts or advice for anybody looking to expand their network? Absolutely, um, I would say look into chambers of commerce. Okay. Those are great way, uh, great uh, places to start. Mm -hmm. uh, chambers of commerce for for the city. Um, also, um, uh, professional organizations for for your specific uh, business or uh, trade organizations. Um, also, um, you'd be surprised. Um, you can, uh, just by volunteering, you can also find a lot of connections that way. You'd, you, you'll see that a lot of people that, uh, that, are, that are give information, that provide information, that guide business owners are also very philanthropic. They also tend to uh, attend a lot of, uh, of, of, of uh, fundraising events for, for different charities and different, uh, and, and that should be part of what you do as well. Absolutely. Um, so that people know that, you know, that, that you're, you're a very well-rounded person, but also um, you never know when you're going to make a connection that's going to be valuable. And, and, and not only that, it's going to offer your business uh, a, a leg up or a step up that, that wouldn't have been possible otherwise. So exactly. you can network everywhere and even have your wife networking if you're married have your children network for you gotta you. put everybody to work everyone has to be everyone has to be working for you and 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 the mission should be clear in regards to uh, you know what what you're offering yes. um, what your business offers but um but also um you know being being uh, hospitable to people and, and, and just and just being uh be become an expert in what you do and that only happens when when you're out there and you're and you're putting you know, you're putting your foot to the pavement, and and you're you're making those connections. And the more the more that people see you, the more that they 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 see that you're hungry for what you want to do for your business. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but then the willingness for of, of people to want to help you out mm -hmm. comes out and comes exactly because they know that you're serious and they want to help you out. So, Alfonso, thank you so much for being here today and for all that you do for SCORE. I really appreciate you. Absolutely, thank you for having me. I really of appreciate course. it. It's such a treat. Thank you. Thank you so much. And to those of you watching right now, if you'd like some free business mentoring or if you'd like to become a SCORE mentor, we would love for you to connect with us. Again, our website is chicago.score.org. I'm Hannah Fernandez. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time on SCORE TV.